All right, the baseball districts are underway in full swing, and we have a bevy of highlights for you from all over Central Mass, getting right to it at St. Peter Marion. St. Peter Marion taking on Westboro. Pick it up the bottom of the second. This was a great game, too. Aiden McAvoy with the shot through. Jared Kaperch scores. Coster Dracitis coming in to score as well. St. Peter Marion jumping out to a 5-0 lead. Top of the third, Luke DeLongchamp getting the strikeout. Now moving to the top of the fourth. Base is loaded. Pitch gets away. Now we got a hot shot. And Frankie Hernandez with a great grab. That's a double play, folks. Top of the fourth, base is loaded, pitch gets away. Dylan Connors coming in to score. It is a 5-1 game. The Rangers are on the board. Devin Parent laces one to center. Patrick Kelly scores. Sam Liss coming home as well. He scores, and it's 5-3. Quinn Donovan pokes one through the right side. Parent scores 5-4. It is a one-run game. Bottom of the inning, Frankie Hernandez, opposite field power. It is up and out and into the trees. The home run makes it 6-4 St. Peter Marion. Danny Mom with a walk-off home run in the seventh. St. Peter's wins it 8-7, your final. Tyler Mudd leading St. John's against Groton Dunstable. Mudder making all the big starts for the Pioneers. Scoreless. And the first, top of the first, Mudder gets a strikeout to end the top of the first. Bottom of the first, Groton Dunstable's Brennan Ferrari revving it up, and he gets the strikeout. Matt Livingston for St. John's. Putting the barrel on the ball. Shot to the gap in right center. Brant Savage scores. Nick Corelli scores. St. John's in front, 2-0. Tom Michella. Laser show to left field. Off the wall in the air. That's a blast. Livingston scores, and it's 3-0 St. John's in front. Jack Hurley continuing the rally. Hurls going with the pitch, slices one down the line fair. Jake Hamill scores. Michelle is scoring, 5-0 St. John's in front. Ferrari getting the strikeout to end the inning. Mutter doing his thing. He gets the shutout. St. John's gets the win, 12-0, your final. Asabet Hudson, baseball districts, D3 tonight. Top of the second, scoreless game, Austin Stone, hot shot through the right side. Runners coming home, we're gonna have ourselves a play at the plate. The excitement builds, great throw to the dish. He is out at the plate and we are still scoreless. Jacob Nelson. Sack fly, helping the cause. Isaac Wagner is tagging. Wagner scores, it is one nothing Aztecs in front. James LeClaire, chopper. LeClaire is hustling, this is two outs. He's hustling the whole way. He's safe at first. Stone scores, two nothing Asibet. Bottom second, three two Hudson now, bases loaded. AJ Vorce gets the strikeout to end the inning. Hudson though gets the win, nine three, your final. All right, BBT taking on the defending state champion, Auburn Rockets. Bottom of the first, Beavers flashing the leather. Alex Panette robbing the Rockets of a hit. Now Auburn's Mike Breen dealing as he gets the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom second, Auburn's Mikey Collins with the laser line drive over everyone. Coleman Picard coming in to score. And it is 1-0 Auburn in front. Auburn playing some defense as well. Nigel Belgrave ranging at third. Good throw, and that retires the side. Bottom third. Bases loaded. Collins, the chopper. Brian Sarkeesian's coming to the plate. He is safe. 3 nothing Auburn. Ryan Lempicki then shoots one through. C.J. Willis scores. Another coming to the plate. Justin Metcalf, great throw from right field. Dewey Evans style. They get the out. Auburn gets the win. 7-0 is your final. All right, Shrewsbury Westboro, Division I Girls Tennis Championships. This is the district finals. We're not allowed inside. Shooting from outside the fence. Number one singles. 
Ahana Mukafati serving in the near court for Westboro. Isabel Seymour in the far court. The return is out and the point is Seymour's. Number two single, Shrewsbury's Athena Wu serving in the far court. Westboro's Kreethi Krishna in the near court. Point for Wu. Third singles, Westboro's Camille Gimilaro in the near court. Shrewsbury's Madison Lembo in the far court. Lembo gets the point. Number one doubles, Shrewsbury's Felice Guy and Sabine Mende serving in the far court. Westboro's Megan Koo and Sandy Iyer in the near court. Point for Westboro. Westboro wins the title. Three matches to two. Central Mass Mawinney All-Star football game is this Friday. The South Squad practicing tonight. The guys pumped to have one more Friday night football game under the lights. But being able to play under the lights on a Friday night just one last time is completely different because I know in college you play Saturdays and you never get those Friday nights back. So I'm just blessed and honored to play another Friday night. Everybody's fast. Everybody's strong. It's just absolutely amazing. Everybody's great. It's just feels great to put these pads on and be able to play with them. Uh, it feels better than playing our last game at, in our high school. So one more time on the lights, play for the fans, play for the people who love us, and just playing, hope we get a, a W today, that, that day. I mean, it's, it's surreal to say the least. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Like, a lot of the seniors that I played with, you know, their seasons were over, you know, Thanksgiving Day. And it's just it's crazy to come back for one last ride, you know. All right, we will be broadcasting the Mwini All-Star football game and airing it on tape delay. The first airing is June 23rd at 6.30 right here on Charter TV 3, and that's sports. That's all we have for now. For Kevin Shea and Brittany Schaefer, have a great night.